Hi everyone, uh, so this was a bit of a spontaneous project, what happened was I had a couple of uh, hazel trees that had been blown over and they were pretty rotten at the base so I thought these can, these can do to come out and uh, they were pretty straight up and straight down really so I thought as I was uh, processing the firewood that actually these could be straight grained enough to do some, some carving with. So. Um, I have previously uh, made a spatula um, out of some birch wood and it's become my best kitchen implement. It's my go-to spatula. In fact, I've just pulled it out of a big uh, pot of stock um, just now. It, it's really been great. It's aged really well. It's really strong and uh, well, you can't have too many spatulas so I thought I'd do another one. But um, I don't know where the snake came from, I just know that I've obviously been inspired by Mike Stinnett. So um, if you don't know who Mike Stinnett is, I highly recommend you go and give his channel uh, a like and a follow. Um, the snakes he does are just amazing and he's a total inspiration. Um, so yeah, you could consider this my little tribute to Mike Stinnett uh, by way of gratitude. It really, it's because of people like Mike Stinnett and also Bobby Duke Arts and uh, the carving shop, that's Joe Dillette. Um, these people share some really great stuff online and yes, they have Patreons, um, but a lot of the information they give away, you know, it's, it's a lot of good information for, for nothing really. So it was really because of those guys that I decided to join YouTube and actually use it with an account because they need you to like and share and uh, and I think it's only fair to give something back really so uh, I'm only on YouTube because of those guys so go and give Mike Stinnett a follow, Bobby Duke Arts and the carving shop Joe Dillette. Um I found Joe's um, videos have been the best that I've found with uh, regard to uh, carving uh, mantelpieces, which uh, I'm working on a mantelpiece at the moment. You'll see it in the background of some of the clips uh, that came before this. So, um, so yeah, um, my little snake has obviously come from Mike. Um, it's turned out to be another useful shaped spatula. That, that particular shape seems to be uh, really good for getting around the edges of pots and things like that. I don't know whether this one will actually be used for cooking or not, or whether it will just sit on a shelf. Um, Maybe I'll do a raffle and uh, and offer the opportunity to win it and I'll post it out to you. Or maybe Mike Stinnett, if you're watching, maybe you want it. <laughs> Although I doubt it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've just finished this off now with some uh, cold-pressed organic flaxseed oil. It's really important, it has to be organic. Uh, <laughs> but um, that just means it is food safe if I decide I do want to use it in the kitchen. Um, I couldn't decide whether or not to try my hand at painting in the way that Mike does, but I think that's um, asking a bit much really. Um, I might have a go one day. Uh, so uh, that's about it. Thank you very much if you've watched all the way to the end. Um, 
it'd be nice to have some likes and some comments and uh, a subscription maybe, but at the moment that's not why I'm on here. Um, hopefully you've managed to get something. If you have any questions about um, the tools that I've used or the methods or anything about the process, just leave it in the comments and I'll happily answer any questions. Um, and uh, yeah, any questions about chickens, just give me a shout. Okay, thank you very much. Cheerio.